hi guys welcome back to another video my name is Keisha and you're watching Curly Keisha if you're new so this video was more of like a walkthrough right now I'm going to tell you all the things that I did after I show you the process so I did film this entire process um, but I'm gonna do my makeup and then I'll come back and tell you everything the ins the outs what I didn't need what I did need stuff like that by the way we're in the nursery the baby's nursery slash master bedroom so that's what you're seeing here it's not finished but yes that's where we are this is a very healthy stopping ground for a very very light blonde if you're a curly girl i'm sure you want to keep your curls so this is the process that i did and if you want it lighter go lighter this is just like a little beginner's guide to getting blonde the healthy way so without further ado watch the clips and I will be back to tell you all the ins and outs. So this is what we're looking like. I have not started obviously, but this is why we're washing it so that way I can get all the gel out. I'm also gonna go to the store and pick up all of the same bleach and developer and protein. I'm going for a sandy blonde. Beige blonde or champagne blonde looks best for me. So that's my goal. That's the goal blonde that we're going for. Don't mind the fact that like some are like straight and stuff, I mean. It was just in a bun, but I will get out and show you how I cornrow after this. Tastes like strawberries on a summer evening, and it sounds just like a song. I want more berries and that summer feeling. It's so wonderful. And warm. Um, this is my car. Bleach, I got bleach, and also 35 developer. Breathe me in, breathe me out. I don't know if I could ever go without. This is kind of cool. I'm just thinking out loud. I don't know if I could ever go without. Water milk sugar high. Water milk sugar high. Water milk sugar high. Water milk sugar high. So, the ones by my face are darker, as you can see. And then the ones going back are like more blonde. But I'm gonna rinse it out in 10 minutes. Um, the curls are still there. This is how my hair looks when it's wet. So the curls should still be there. We're gonna see. I think I'm gonna tone tomorrow um, or like the day after tomorrow, so Wednesday. And I'm just gonna deep condition and, and protein mask for a day. Back to Sally's because I don't have, I have like a little bit more, but I'm going to do it for all the processes. Little band two knots all over. Hopefully it turns out really cute. Okay, guys. Welcome back to the final part of the video. So, this is the bag of stuff that you're going to need. I'm gonna start off with like the actual supplies that you need because I didn't have any dyeing supplies. Five things that you need to make it happen. A wide tooth comb. You definitely need a handheld mirror. And then gloves because you can't touch the bleach or it'll burn your hands. These Equate clips from Walmart as well. They're really great. All of the main utensil stuff that you need. And then if you don't have like a measuring cup um, that's plastic because all of mine is glass and metal. So if you don't have one that's plastic, get one that's plastic. So I just tried this and I really am happy with it, so I'm gonna recommend it. It's the Shea Moisture Power Greens Conditioner. Got this from Walmart. It's just super conditioning and I put it on for this. This is the one product that I used for this Bantu Knot Outlook. Um, and it's just, it's really softening and amazing. And the last product is from Sally's. It's vitamin E oil. So I didn't actually show this in the video, but occasionally, like if I felt like my hair was trying to get a little bit dry, I would just slap this on it and then it went away. Like that weird feeling of like, is it going to die? Is it going to break off? I was like, okay, here, now on to how I used it. So the pre-care that I did before I bleached was 
I put this, this is Camille Rose, on my scalp just to make sure that the bleach wouldn't like get into my scalp and start burning it. Use the daily hydrating with the pure oils. I put these two together because they're very, very hydrating and then with the oil and then I corn root it back and then I let it sit in there for a day so it was all completely dry by the time that I started bleaching. So then I took out all the corn rows and then I sectioned it off. Then I bleached. What you see in from the video, the first time that I was bleaching, was a 3 4 cup measuring utensil. So I used 1 4 a cup of bleach and then a half a cup of developer for every 1 4 cup. So that was enough for like each quadrant of my hair. So I made two batches in the beginning so I could get the front of my hair done at the same time. And then I used a 1 4 a one fourth ounce of the absolute perfection. After I did that, I mixed it, I let it sit. I'd say I let it develop for maybe like an hour. Um, and then all of the hair processed differently though, because I processed this for an hour, and then I processed this for maybe like 45, 50 minutes, and then this got processed, the perimeter of my head got processed maybe like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Um, so it processed a lot tinier because I rinsed it all out. I did not shampoo after I rinsed out the bleach. I put in this process because this doesn't work if you shampoo. So please remember that. Do not shampoo after you rinse out the bleach. Just rinse it out with super, super cold water, ice cold water, and then I put this on right on top of it, which is the other part of the two-step treatment. They come together. It's $12 and it's totally worth it because I would have paid 20. Like if, it, I would have even paid, I think I would have paid up to like 30, maybe even 40 bucks. Um, because it works that good and I know it did a difference for the bleaching to my hair. So then I let that sit on for maybe about two to three hours while I was like walking around the house cleaning up and then I rinsed it out so my hair is like an orangey, like very stark yellow um, in real life. Then I did a protein treatment and I rinsed it out and then I put this product all over which is a deep treatment, the Cantu deep treatment. Um, mask and I let that sit in my hair and I just wrapped it up and I went to sleep then I woke up and let it dry air dry the rest of the way with just the mask that's when my hair is completely dry with only that product in here so you can see how good the the whole bleaching did did on my hair and took took on my hair so that's what I did and then the next day that's where that's when my like crisis happened because then I did not like how yellow it was. I did not like how brassy it was. I did love how healthy my hair was and I didn't want to do a second bleaching even though I was advised by the Sally's consul consultant people to bleach it again. But they said that it was a unpredictable process that I could bleach it again and my hair could be strangy but it would still, it would be to like really light color um, like this basically all the way around. Um, and I was like, I don't know if I want to commit. Like, I'm very happy with the health of my hair and I don't want to destroy that. And like three months from now, it's like breaking off because it just got so dry. I don't want that to happen. So I was very happy with the health of my hair and I realized that that mattered more to me than like, than like getting um, some like really icy blonde color that I kind of had already achieved. So that's when they recommended the toner. They recommended this useless product, this T15, which I did use in the back of my hair, which is why it's more brown back there, um, because this is a brown, and it was like more of like this icy blonde color, and then I toned it. Um, so then I rinsed it out, but it's okay, because this is demi-permanent, so it'll come out. So I think if I would have mixed the T15 with like something more icy, something more like a T18, like T15 and T18, it would have turned out okay, um, but I only used this. So I did not use any more of that. I returned the other bottle of it that I had bought. Now on to the toning process that I did. So for toning, I used this, the 9A, um, all over my hair with the 20 developer. And so one part this, two parts the developer, and then three drops of the Color Corrector Gold Plus. And I put it in my hair and I let it sit for about an hour, I'd say an hour, um, just because, I don't know, it needed it. Rinsed it all out, and then I put in the other two-step treatment, left that in for maybe an hour and a half, and then I rinsed that out and used the Power Greens and Bantu my hair up. 
and now this is the result. So I'm very happy with where it ended because it was a process. And what I will say is that um, definitely take your time. I wouldn't like rush into each step. Um, it took me, I think it's taken me about three days now to do from start to finish just because I didn't know which way I wanted to go. I didn't know how blonde I wanted to go. I didn't know what I wanted to risk, what I didn't want to risk. So I took the time and I would recommend to do that as well. So in the future, this is my future basket. I'm going to mix these two colors together. It's the same 9A with a 7N. That way I can get more of like a beigey blonde than less of like a honey ice blonde. That'll be later when I probably dye my roots in a few months. But yeah, so that's it. That's all I did. That's the entire process. Talked all the way through. Okie dokie artichokies.